Let's react to Cannon's pay to win update, pay to win breakdown, Throne in Liberty. This is objectively true. Literally every single person that has played this game is going to agree with me on this. Okay. And I'm not, I don't want to like defend the pay to win because you guys know my stance on the pay to win, right? But. Okay, let's see. I let's let's call Cannon out, against chat. Pay to win in this game. Coping. Is the fact that in Throne in Liberty, it's very much, and I say this in my video, uh -huh. a rock, paper, scissors, pick your poison like situation. So if you take a look at my build, for example, okay, okay. I'm maxed out. Well, technically not anymore because they just increased the cap, but let's just pretend I'm maxed out because I will be. And I've got double okay, arc okay. boss weapon. I can pretend. You know, I'm, do I'm, I'm fucking decked out, right? Sheesh. If you are free to play Andy, that is playing mage, you will blow my ass up. If you are free to play Andy, that is playing melee evasion, I cannot kill you. Okay. Right? Th I mean, that is the reality. So... It's not like other games where if you're a pay to win animal, you're just a god, you're a raid boss on on Okay. But I don't know how this matters. If you are free to play Andy that is playing mage, you will blow my ass up. If you are But what if you are a pay to win Andy that plays mage evasion then? Free to play Andy that is playing melee evasion. I cannot kill you. Melee evasion. Right? Th I mean, that is the reality. So. So right now, I guess he is just talking about class balancing. So if you're a free to play player that plays a class that out de that outclasses him, that's just balance. It has like little to do with pay to win. That, that's just different classes and different builds. But what if you put the same class free to play versus pay to win that is more of an argument that has that should be made rather than a class balance yeah well we'll continue maybe he cooks later it's not like other games where if you're a pay to win animal you're just a god you're a raid boss on 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 the battlefield in throne you will always have a hole whether that's a lack of damage i mean i could build out so that i can i don't really die i'm insanely taught taking to everyone else I'm not gonna deal much damage as a great sword dagger, right? So for me, you will always have a, for anyone's build and anyone's character, whether you we're still just talking about differences in class balancing. Little to do with pay to win here. You're pay to win or free to play, you will always have a weakness. And whether you're a whale or free to play, you will always be weak and strong to someone else. Okay, and that matters absolutely nothing, by the way. That's just balancing in the classes. We want to know if you get an advantage of swiping. If you're the same class, a same class, same spec, same everything, one versus not swiping versus someone who swipes. That That's the reality. That's the reality. I know a lot of people don't really talk about this specific thing when they are explaining the pay to win. And I think this is very significant. All right, guys. So we are going to continue this conversation and we are going to be explaining let's, everything let's in regards to the pay to win. I wanted to make this a YouTube video, so I might as well just knock it out on stream. A lot of you guys have been asking. Constant new players. Excuse me. We're always getting brand new players that are coming in the stream. And uh, uh -huh. probably the, one of the most commonly asked question is how to pay. How pay to win is it? Can you explain the, can you, can you explain the pay to win? So let's break down the pay to win. Okay. okay so what I've let's done is I've listed out the vertical progression. Come all on, the vertical progression in Throne Liberty. Okay. So you have gear purchasing, enhancing your gear, enhancing yeah. gear. Let me write that in. Gear and skills. You have your mastery, your traits, and trait residence, and runes. This runes. is what it is. Okay. So let's go through this one by one. This won't take too long. I uh -huh. promise you. So we've got the gear purchasing. This guy's is it's paid it's pay to win there's, there's no way you can argue around it right there's there's an auction house here wait it's what? Pay to win. so we've got the gear purchasing this guy's is it's paid it's pay to win there's, there's no way you can argue around it right there's there's so gear purchasing is pay to win there's an auction house here and you can purchase everything now keep in mind the game has evolved quite a bit and you can pretty much buy everything on the auction house now uh, and if you can't, you could buy the recipe for it, allowing you to craft it along with other mats. When you purchase the the gear, you're going to get the base level gear. That's what uh -huh. you're going to get. You're not going to get this gear upgraded. Once you do, 
purchase the gear with Lucent. Lucent is the cash shop currency that you can yeah. swipe for. You also farm Lucent in the game, by the way. So you can just think of it like gold that you can purchase with money. So you've got the gear purchasing, uh, enhancing gear and skills. Okay, so once you get this gear, you're going to get base level gear. All right, so let's take a look at my character here. You can see this item right here is okay, level okay. nine. Okay, plus nine. I can enhance it and get it up to 12. There we are like lower that. tiers. There's like green gear and blue gear. Don't worry about that. You're going to get purple gear. Is this gear. TL? Yeah. Okay, everyone's going to get purple. Uh, for those of you who not under, uh, not just got here, you skipped through the video. There is um, discussions about pay to win on in Throne and Liberty and how does that affect gameplay. Canon has been a big supporter and player of this game for a while in Korea when it released, and he's been on top of that, and he's going to be on top of the North American version. So we're uh, checking out his opinion or what he has to say about a pay to win in Throne of Liberty. And you know, sometimes, chat, when you're in the shit, you are biased. So we're here to kind of remove the cope that a lot of these players do when they're uh, invested so much in their game, you you put on blinders and you are able to say and pardon everything the game has because you're in invested. So let's see how much invested is canon and how much of it is cope and how much of it is actually pay to win. This is and this is specifically talking about the Korean version. Not not sure if it's going to change dramatically for North America, but we'll continue reading. Same thing happened before Lost Ark came out. Same thing, chat. If you are a streamer, specifically streamers, by the way, I'm throwing myself in that boat. When we play certain games, we tend to put on blindfolds and we tend to fucking take this cope trade because guess what? It's our job. Also, on top of that. So we'll, 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 we'll let's continue letting him cook. Book here. Uh, maybe get... maybe Cannon isn't like that. Maybe he's uh, different. Let's check a look. Purple gear, you're going to want to upgrade it to max level, which is nine. They just recently increased the cap. They literally increased the cap to 12 this week, nine, 10 months after the game. It was pretty, it was, it was well due. But uh -huh. uh, as far as our region goes, assuming we don't go straight to the Korean endgame, which is probably going to be the case, you're going <laughs> to have this. And in order to upgrade, you're going to need these armor growth stones okay. how do you get these armor growth stones can you pay to win these armor growth stones how do you pay for the growth stones well let me show you i'm going to open up my crafter here and you're going to see that these growth stones it doesn't matter whether it's weapon uh armor or accessories yeah. by the way the only difference is the type of ore which which you're farming um <clears throat> so you're going to see that these are the mats that are required to actually craft the growth stone you cannot purchase the growth stone directly from the auction house you can pay to win magic, rare magic powder. You get magic powder. There's levels of these. You can pay to win these powders. You can pay to win these ores or these uh, rubrixes or uh, we're just going to call them ore. But you cannot swipe for the rare polished crystal. This is something that you have to farm in game. Okay. Now, there are some effective ways to farm these. You can literally do a mindless grind. I don't know okay, if that's okay. intended. So uh, from what I understand then since you can't directly buy a rare weapon enhancement stone which you need to enhance your weapons but you can pay to win 75 percent of the materials needed for this you can pay to win there's one material that you can't pay to win if it's not intended then the amount of rare polished crystals that you can farm a day is limited but Right now, the best way to farm these is just by repeating lower level dungeons and yeah. killing lower level dungeon elites <laughs> and just farming it over and over again. But it's only viable in the current end game because you're farming lower tier dungeons with juiced gear. I don't know how far I don't know how viable this is going to be on global, especially with tier one uh -huh. when we have way less gear and everyone's pretty much on tier one dungeons. So if we were to remove that as a realistic possibility to farm these things, this right here is absolutely the bottleneck it is the reason why one of the biggest reasons why i'm stuck here in fact a lot of people are have been recently discovering ways to farm the rare polish gear because they just recently increased the level cap from or the enhancement level from 9 plus 9 to plus 12 and a lot of us were stuck 66 even us pay to win. whales were stuck upgrading this to plus 12 we, we just couldn't do it because we are lacking the polished crystals um 
but yeah essentially you can swipe for everything except for these polished crystals which you are going to have to farm in game yeah so uh, which is all fine and dandy but the other things i don't know how difficult the other two materials that you can pay to win how difficult are those to acquire without paying to win because i mean if you have the option to swipe for something it's technically still pay to win somewhat pay to win he already um conceded gear purchasing is pay to win you can directly swipe and purchase gear from the auction house so gear purchasing is in the game you can definitely just straight up buy power and then the enhancing to make that gear a little bit stronger it's somewhat maybe pay to win but you are limited to how much you can uh, progress through this because one item you need is locked behind content and no pay to win there well, that's how the gear enhancing works what about the skills what about the skills what is this uh i don't know why this is spelled this way but what about the skills so in in throne liberty if you hit k uh -huh. you've got these skills right here here you can upgrade your skills what is the process of upgrading your skills the same exact process as growth stones you're gonna need these ores and you're gonna need parchments okay ores again you can pay to win parchments you cannot pay to win parchments they are like the uh polished crystals of skill books okay you're okay? limited Only to how many you could get a day really can't farm over and over again like you can with the polished crystals this is absolutely a game okay now yeah. in the early game polished crystals parchments they used to not really be a gate you just got them like candy they were everywhere but ncsoft has kind of reworked this whole enhancement system and now they are absolutely a bottleneck we're gonna get there we're gonna get to all when the questions it comes to you have the trapped. enhancing of gear so the plus zero to plus 12 or plus plus nine in global and yeah. getting your skills maxed out you're gonna be bottlenecked if you're a whale you're not gonna be able to do everything day one you're not gonna be able to max out your gear day one you will be bottlenecked to a certain degree and that's going to keep the gap between free to play and pay to win a little bit closer next we have mastery what is mastery well mastery is this this is your mastery every single weapon uh -huh. you can upgrade the mastery isn't pay to win at all because you need experience okay i'm maxed out with my dagger here so i'm gonna use let's select crossbow the only way for me to upgrade this is by just getting experience and the only way you get experience is by completing like dungeons and contracts mainly uh along with other things but yeah you have to play the game this isn't pay to win at all so we're gonna move on but but we can't just move on either are there items that they sell that increase exp gain because that also will be pay to win if what he said here is uh, a thing. along with other things but we can't by completing like we, we can't just skip over this though because i don't know if you get exp by purchasing like a bundle that gives you like a hundred percent exp rate then it is kind of pay to win right so I, I don't i don't know if he if there is that it exists but that's also something that needs to be questioned and which i would imagine that they will have exp boosters but to upgrade this is by I just getting experience and then you'll it would be really weird that they didn't though because like every other game kind of has like exp boosters well not every other game but some games have that um you acquire exp faster if you have pay to win the way you get experience is by completing like dungeons and contracts mainly uh along with other things but yeah you have to play the game this isn't pay to win at all okay. so we're gonna move on uh, traits is your next form of per vertical progression and this is hands down the most pay to win part of throne liberty okay so we're gonna go oh. back to our uh our gear here you're gonna see right here i have three different traits in my helmet magic endurance max health and melee evasion uh -huh. i have four melee evasion traits you can see that by the four little uh segments below where it says melee evasion one two three four that represents each trait i'm not gonna go through the whole trading system trading system um for the so just so that i can keep this video relatively do you put money to get in something directly yes or no yes you can swipe for money and get gear directly sure but tldr it's pay to win why is it pay to win because you go to the auction house you can buy the traits okay it's it's it's, it's that simple now oh, you can this buy right here directly most people would say is the most pay to win part of throne liberty now the reality is you can hit this 
uh, cap, okay? Okay. A free-to-play player is going to be max traits, okay? okay? It's just going to take you longer. A pay-to-win player can max out his traits. Well, day one now, I don't know about... I don't know about in launch because launch there's milestones. Yeah, so there are people that have to farm this first, right? So there's not the empty. The auction house is going to be somewhat empty at the beginning. So there's not going to be a lot of selling of gear, a lot of buying of this and that. So at the beginning, maybe less pay to win for sure. Um, yeah. Certain pieces of gear aren't going to be available, but the purple pieces that are available, you will be able to max trade it day one if you pay a lot of money. But if you wait and play the game, you will be able to max out your traits. And there is no RNG system to this. You get a trait, you, you put it in your gear, and you have it. There is a there is a cis trading system where you can kind of feed lower level gear or Do lower they have level gear fiance? into it. But yes, their fiat system is their currency system. You you have to swipe, um, but you can also grind some of their fiance for free. But obviously, let's not pretend like like it's going to be super easy. Like they're going to give you their fiance for free every other monster you kill. Uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit. I mean, let, let's, well, I don't need to explain it to you guys. It's a, it's going to be a free game. Obviously, they're going to make it a little bit harder to obtain the, the premium currency in the game. But we're not going to go through that. Just know that this is the p most pay-to-win system. You can do it from day one as a whale. And uh, free-to-play players will eventually be able to max, uh, max out their traits. Next thing we have are the trait residents. Now, the trait residents is the newest thing that was implemented uh -huh. in Throne of Liberty. Fiant and game. I personally think... This is definitely pay to win. Okay, when it comes to the trait resonance system, uh, we go to the trait again. Once you max out your traits, you're going to have... Uh, let me actually move this here. I'm going to move this here, down here. You're going to have this resonance effect. This is an yeah. additional trait. Okay, in order for me to select my own trait, I need 80 of these stones for a tier 2 weapon. It's less for armor and it's less for tier okay, 1. Okay, okay. All right. I can gamma it for four, but you, I mean, shit. Gamma I, I don't system. really recommend that. How do you get these? Well, you get these by feeding gear that you get into this, and you get to conversion tier five. And then from here, you're going to see that you get at least 15 residence snow stone fragments. And with these fragments, what you're going to do is purchase other accessories. You're going to craft these stones. Let me move my camera back. As you can see, five stones equals, or excuse me, five fragments equal one stone, right? Uh -huh. Now, this I can pay to win, this I can pay to win, this I can pay to win, and this I can pay to win as well because I could just buy gear with Lucent, hmm. feed it, and farm these infinitely. That will allow me to get the best in slot resonance trade effects. Now, can you get full trait resonance traits it's gonna be a as a longer free to play player of course you can that's it's it's not hard to get the resonance traits it's very cheap because what you do when you first add the resonance trait uh i i think it, it costs you very it, okay it costs you very little to actually add a resonance trait but it's an rng role and you're gonna you're yeah. gonna get some random trait you're gonna want a specific trait and if you're chasing for the specific trait you're going for then it's pay to win it's it's for sure pay to win now, Baby when it comes to the trait resonance system, do, 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 I would do, do, do. say that this is the only thing that is going to separate a pay-to-win player from a free-to-play free player now. This is it, okay? Everything else on this list is doable, uh -huh. okay? As a free-to-play player, you will, you will catch the pay-to-win player, except for this. With all of this stuff that's in the game, we're going to go over runes next. This right here becomes very difficult to min-max as a free-to-play player. Like, you will have the same amount of trait resonance as a free-to-play player, um, as a free-to-play player to a pay-to-win player, but you're not going to probably get the absolute best in slot ones. It will take you too long. I mean, you can, you absolutely can, but it will take you too long. And I believe by the time you get there, like the next level of gear will probably come out because this is a this is a big grind. I could Ooh, be wrong about okay. this, but I assure you no free-to-play player is, is maxed out with all this shit yet. And this has been out for, so, I don't know, maybe a month now. I would oh. imagine that this is probably the similar effect to cards and Lost Ark. Um, 
well not the similar effect but how long it takes you versus somebody who pays to win if somebody who pays to win cards um back when it released you can get the card system los 30 or what uh, like um you could get uh, 30. and as a pre a free to play player you can eventually get there but it's probably going to take you a really long time yeah probably like elixirs yeah i don't know too much about the elixir system yeah Okay, and that leads us to runes. Now, runes was a new system that was implemented in the game, and this is not pay to win at all when it comes to the actual rune levels. Because, yeah. uh, okay, so let me just actually let me backtrack here and explain how this works. I uh, like there's their, a new me system. their menus look uh, don't look too bad. It looks very mobile like, but I don't mind it. It's clean. Some called runes. Okay, so you take a piece of gear, and then you have three sockets. You open these sockets, and then you place these runes in them. You farm challenge yeah. dungeons and you get runes from challenge dungeons along with other things and this is a rune right here i can just equip it now each rune has a level max level maximum level of 60 there's no way to pay to win this you have to play the game you have to, it's like experience you can't you can't pay to win it you just continue to farm and your runes will level up now unlocking these slots however this does have a pay to win element to it because the way you unlock these slots is you unlock them by using what's called hammers Okay, so if I take Ooh. this item right here, let's take this random one. Whoops. Uh, let's take this random one here. It will cost me two hammers to unlock this slot. Okay, now, okay. so this will be two, four, six hammers total to unlock it. And I want to actually unlock these in a specific order. Right? So it's not right. just going to cost you six hammers. It's going to cost Schwab. you a lot more. Now, this was originally a problem because this whole system was completely fucked but tldr without going too much into it it's way better and it's not really it's not a problem at all as long as you're a little bit patient when i say a little bit patient i don't mean like you have to wait months i mean like literally you could just hard farm one day and you'll be fine <laughs> okay right and get the best in slot rune synergies the reason why is because the way you get the rune hammers that are used to unlock these rune slots is you get runes you get these runes you farm these runes and you disenchant them and you get these rune fragments i got 32 from like low level shit ones right um that were level 20. Watch and then what i'll do is i'll go to the crafter and i will craft these hammers just like this okay uh, a thousand hammers gives me 10 uh, gives me 10 rune hammers so a hundred fragments give you one rune hammer so this is like super easy like you have to farm the runes anyway right you have to farm these runes anyway and as you're farming them you're gonna get enough hammers it's it's gonna be super easy so this is not a pay to win system at all you can certainly fast track it but no one's gonna complain about this it's it's not a problem it doesn't that's sound pretty much too the bad. full breakdown that one doesn't sound so too tldr tray residence this is what prevents free to play players from truly truly catching pay to win players to best in slot. In like, when i'm talking about like min max gear yeah now we're not talking like a 20 percent, 10 percent difference in damage or anything crazy like that right this is just like really min maxing the last you know 100 stats or something like that this isn't the biggest deal in the world but if you're a min maxer yeah you're gonna need the trait residence and i don't see a free-to-play player realistically ever being being able to max out everything including yeah, yeah. the best in slot, slot trait residences because it's like an art because you have to farm so many of those things and you can't really start farming gear to feed into the into the substance transformation you can't really start doing that until you finish all the other stuff because you need those gear pieces to sell for lucent to use for traits so this is really something that you're going to do last when it comes to the traits this is the most pay to win system this is where you're going to feel the biggest power discrepancy uh the, the biggest power difference however traits are something that you will absolutely catch pay to win whales on because pay to win whales once they get their ship fully traded out there there's nowhere to go you're done right so free to play players will reach that level and there's no power difference between them mastery obviously there's no pay to win there enhancing gear and skills we talked about it there's a little bit of a gate with uh actual items that you need to I, farm i think i know where he's going the direction of this he's trying to softball the pay to win thing right like i have done in the past uh i think i've watched enough of the video it's almost done we can continue watching after my synopsis here but here is my synopsis i have done this for lost ark i have done this for black desert online 
I have streamed those games and I was really biased and really trying to cope with a lot of the pay to win mechanics. Quite blank, uh, point blank serious. Is it pay to win? Can you buy power? The absolute answer is yes. You can definitely buy corners by just digesting this whole video. You can skip corners. You can skip the length that it takes you to get something, which in my opinion, you can you could choose to um, see it however you want. But my definition of po um, pay to win is when you can buy power with money. Time is power as well. And I'll give you the, the reason why I have this definition of time is power. So is a uh, throne of liberty pay to win? Yes. Judging this video and his uh, description of it and what you can do, it is pay to win. How much does that pay to win actually affect you as a free to play player versus somebody who pays to win? Probably doesn't really matter much because as he said at the beginning of the game, um, a lot of the skill comes into play. Class versus classes and builds versus builds probably has more an edge in the game versus somebody who swiped more versus somebody who swiped less. However, though, one thing that we have to note here, and here comes the time and why I think pay to win and some and, and games that they allow you to skip time to skip how much of time to, to, for you to get this and this and this and that. It absolutely matters when you're playing a PVP competitive game versus guild versus guild and see just like that, because you get a huge advantage buying a packet to pick. Play Throne of Liberty five days early ahead of everybody else. It's a huge advantage. It's a huge advantage. Also, for that record, time and how much you get ahead of people in a big guild where PvP is at its core. You will feel the power of somebody who has swiped in the game especially early on you're going to feel that you're going to feel the hardcore hemorrhoid users and you're going to feel that power you're going to feel that power and say after five days is up and then maybe 10 days i know they have this like changing server thing the pay to win welds are like in their own server and stuff um so it's going to be nothing but wells competing versus each other in those areas so maybe they they kind of um nullified or void that big disparity behind a super well who got five days ahead of time versus somebody who is free coming in because i do believe they have separate servers so at least there's that um and then as a free-to-play player you have the choice to go back into the well server i don't know why would you do that because you're putting put you're effectively putting yourself at a disadvantage by playing with people who got to play the game five days earlier um so i don't know tldr this sounds like my responses to when i give the pay to win um facts about bdo yes you can cut corners in bdo yes you can cut corners in lost arc yes you can speed up time here and it's up to you guys whether you guys think that that isn't good enough to be um playable or not um for me I'm gonna be honest, for me, it doesn't really matter because I'm a player who also puts a lot of time into the game in games in general. But if you're like a casual player that doesn't have a lot of time and you'd refuse to pay to win, I, I don't think you're gonna have the easiest time. If you're like a casual and then there's somebody who's swiping, yeah, I think it's gonna get you a bit of time there to get to some, um, some I don't know, to be actually competitive versus somebody who does swipe. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an I'm a video, I'm a hardcore Andy. So I know with the power of my 12 hours to spare in a game and then money to spend in the game, I know that a like a fucking one hour to two hour Andy that does no swiping will probably have no chance. Yeah, yep. So there you go, chat. Hopefully you guys understood the pay to win a little bit better from a Canon's perspective. Um, I do think that the game is pay to win, but how much that affects your time as a free to play player versus a pay to win, that's completely up to you. Uh, hopefully Canon did a good job at explaining and I just pretty much repeated everything that Canon said. And gear purchasing, this is just obviously yeah. just straight up pay to win. Now gear purchasing also goes hand in hand with arc boss weapons arc boss weapons are hand is hands down the most expensive 
items in the game some of these items can go for like a thousand two thousand dollars each uh however i think i i, I want to mention that arc boss weapons are more guild to win than pay to win what do i mean by that well all of the arc boss weapons that are listed on the auction house are okay so guild to win i think he's uh, sorry I, I if you guys want to see the whole video it's going to be linked down below um chat people are going to want strong people in their guilds people are going to want whales in their guilds the strongest guilds will have whales so i, I like let's not pretend that like that it that being in a strong guild is not also just gonna be pay to win like i would want to be with the the people that are swiping hard for money for for like the best gear and stuff like that's where it's like these strongest guilds will have the most pay to win people in them given to guilds that's right us players because the only way to get them is to farm arc bosses that spawn twice a week and when you farm them those items go to the best guilds that farm them that's how it works and who are the best guilds who farm them the pay to winners the people who have cut corners for time to skip certain things who do this that that is who is going to get them the wills and the guilds determine whether or not they should give it to their own guildmates sell it to their own guildmates give it to their guildmates for free or sell it in the auction house it's tradable right um so this is kind of it's like if you like it, it's gonna cost you one to 2k if you're not in a guild and you just have and you just have to purchase it on the auction house um but even that you're not gonna be able to purchase it relatively early because the earlier ones in the beginning they're all going to be given to the guilds because your guild is significantly stronger and why is it significantly stronger having players with arc boss weapons and the art and having more arc boss weapons in your guild allows you to farm more arc boss weapons so the majority of the guilds in the beginning are going to keep it within their guild this is why arc boss weapons are for sure more arc or are, are, excuse me more guild to win than they are pay to win i don't think there's anything else i can but add guild guild to win is pay to win though because you're going to have absolutely the giga chats who are fucking swiping who are hardcore who take the shit they're, they're going to be the ones swiping that most guilds are going to be not most actually kind of I, actually i have no idea what most guilds are going to do in na but a lot of guilds will give these arc boss weapons out to free whether they have like a dkp system or a loot council system i know a lot of western guilds are going to be giving out these uh uh important items to important guild members for free and if that's the case then obviously this is not going to really affect your your pay to win stuff if you're wondering how much it costs to actually min max everything yeah. outside of the trait resonance system uh maxing out everything else like your traits and getting your gear and enhancing your gear all of that stuff um on korea it cost me somewhere between like somewhere between like three to four hundred dollars usd to max out everything not including arc boss weapons that's about what it cost me and uh i spent a lot of money in this game building out multiple gear sets i think that about does it for the pay to win explanation about four hundred dollars chat about four hundred dollars um um guild to win is such copium term well yeah L let's not pretend that little susie with her homies you know rebecca and vanessa and they have a john and joe who work a nine to five that got their little casual guild and stuff let's not pretend like they have a fighting chance versus well guild come on now it, it, come on now it's obviously going to be the guilds with the strongest people that put more time and that spend more time yeah. Uh, I'd rather pay a subscription, uh, MMORPG. I mean, and, and before people in my comments said, would you play pay to, uh, BDO, LE, that's pay to win. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so, I, 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 I'm just calling it how I see it. BDO is pay to win, Lost Ark is pay to win, and Throne in Liberty will absolutely be paid to fucking win. 
I'm calling how I see it. If you guys have an opinion about Throne of Liberty, leave it down in the comments below. Ellie out. Hey, you might be new around here, huh? Well, hold your horses. Before you click off this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as it does help me grow as a streamer. Now do yourself a favor and do it, mister.